Apple has released iOS 11, tvOS 11, and watchOS 4 to the public. Notably, the iPhone 8 and 10, Apple TV 4K, and Apple Watch Series 3. If you haven't gotten a notification to update to iOS 11 on your iPhone, go to Settings, General, then Software Update. There you will see iOS 11 available and ready to download and install. Apple Insider already went into detail on many of the new capabilities with our Inside iOS 11 series of videos. You can click on the card above to check those out, but let's run through a quick summary of what you can do with iOS 11. Apple's AR kit combines the iPhone or iPad sensors and overlays virtual objects on the device's screen in conjunction with items in real space. Apple teased a few features at the recent event, showing off a couple games and apps that use the AR kit, which is limited to the A9 and newer processor, meaning the iPhone 6S, SE, 7, and 8 families can use the technology. For iPads, you'll either need an iPad Pro or 2017 iPad to use the AR kit. Siri now has a new voice powered by deep learning, meaning her voice will be constantly improved and automatically updated to users. Siri also gains a new translation feature, translating between English, Chinese, French, German, Italian, and Spanish, with more to come. The Control Center is seeing a major redesign, packing all the features into a single and customizable page, while adding 3D touch support which shows more options within items. The App Store is redesigned in iOS 11, with Apple attempting to make discovering apps and games easier than before. The Music app is also getting a refresh, adding a new social feature where you can share playlists and your music choices with friends. There's a new Do Not Disturb While Driving mode, which can automatically block notifications while driving. Photos taken on iOS 11 devices now use a new HEIF compression method, offering higher quality images while using half the storage space. Users can also trim and add effects to live photos, as well as change the key photo from a live photo capture. Video Capture now uses a new H.265 video codec, which is designed to keep file sizes small while retaining or even improving video quality. Maps is adding indoor mapping, which supports major malls and airports around the world. Maps has also added lane guidance and speed limit display. iOS 11 includes AirPlay 2 with built-in multi-room audio support, as well as integrating into HomeKit, allowing Siri to be used to play music on a specific speaker. Users on the same Wi-Fi network can now add music to a shared Up Next playlist. For iOS 11 compatibility, you'll need an iPhone 5S and newer, iPad Mini 2 and up, iPad Air and newer, and all iPad Pros. The 6th gen iPod Touch also is compatible with iOS 11. Moving on to watchOS 4, you can update through the Watch app on a paired iPhone running the newly released iOS 11. The biggest standout feature of watchOS 4 is the new Siri watch face, which proactively displays information relevant to the user throughout their day. Apple has also revamped the Music app, adding a new Apple Music automatic sync feature and a new now playing view that automatically appears when a user raises their wrist. The News app has also been brought to watchOS 4. They've enhanced the Activity app with personalized progress updates and updated the Workout app with new quick start capabilities, added high intensity interval training, custom heart rate and motion monitoring, and enhanced swim tracking. You can also get some new watch faces like Kaleidoscope and Toy Story faces. Later this year, support for Apple Pay Cash and person to person transfers will also come to watchOS 4. Finally, let's quickly cover tvOS 11. If the update isn't set to download automatically, users can get tvOS 11 by going into the Apple TV Settings app, then selecting System, Software Updates, and finally Update Software. The most significant improvements are the live news and sports features in the TV app. You now get a dedicated sports tab showing every live and upcoming game, as well as offering notifications about upcoming or closed games, and you can optionally see scores and remaining time on thumbnails. If a favorite team is playing a game covered by ESPN, that event will appear at the front of the TV app's Up Next section. Some other upgrades include automatic switching between light and dark modes based on the time of day and home screen sync in homes with more than one Apple TV. The software will also support AirPlay 2, though that standard primarily enables HomeKit and multi-speaker audio control for iPhones and iPads. TVOS 11 will be default on the Apple TV 4K, and accordingly enable 4K resolutions in video and on the home screen, as well as HDR support for compatible TV sets. Next up, macOS High Sierra still has until September 25th until public release, but Apple has already made Safari 11 available for Macs, adding features like video autoplay blocking and reader mode, as well as improving performance and efficiency. The new H.265 video codec is gaining support as well, 
Remember to check out our Inside iOS 11 playlist where we go in depth with all the new iOS 11 features. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.